<laughs> Some very childish stuff going on around here. You wouldn't get me doing anything like that. It's bad for the image, you know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything. Cut. Cut. I'm not working with animals. Oh, I'm away. No, you don't. Come back because tonight, James Callahan, this is your life. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of another of my impersonations. Okay, David, what do you want to do now? How about Cliff? Cliff. Either this is Cliff Richard. No, 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 don't get up. Just kneel. That'll be all right. <laughs> no, actually, I was, um, I was, um, uh, I was, um, uh, I was, um, uh. I forgot what I was. What am I doing? Cliff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just test that, yes. <clears throat> oh, joke. <clears throat> I'm not going to tell about the fellow that went to the doctors, and this doctor said to the fellow, he said, um, I'm sorry to tell you, but you've only got three minutes to live. The fellow said, is there nothing you could do for me? He said, oh, I could boil you an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Reptilations and celebrations Whenever to everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm the happiest can be Little dogs who would be Now, that's pathetic. It's not me. <laughs> David, we either do this as we rehearsed it, otherwise there is no point in doing it. Well, all right. And, Leslie, what is the matter with you? I'm out of puff. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all find that rather hard to believe, Leslie. Yes. Hard? Yes. yes. He was pulling me. He was pulling you? <laughs> I don't think he's ever pulled anything in his life. Oh, I don't know. I've had my moments. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's a song. Here's a song you all know. It made me quite famous at the time. I want you to all join in, okay, mates? Okay. okay. You put your right leg in and your left leg out. You did your left leg in. You did your left leg Sorry. So, sorry. All went dark then for a second. Sorry about that. A bit of a shadow came over me. Never mind. The song. You know that it's so funny how we don't talk.
Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me very great pleasure, and it has done for many years now. And it gives me great pleasure, because I've been searching for you all day, because tonight, Debbie Harry, tonight this is your life. I was in a club last night. There's only two in. I said to the boss, I said, did you advertise? He said, no, but they must have found out you're coming somehow. <laughs> so this means nothing. This, all I need is a mic and lights. <laughs> Just relax a little, because tonight, Pat Lynch, this is your life. <laughs> This is incredible. Uh, are you in the business as well? I am Cliff Richard. Oh, that's when I thought then what was all that Richard business? Modesty and desire for an image, I suppose. Typical. I've always been a fan of yours. Thank you very much. Oh, um, yes, ever since I was a little boy, I remember heartbreak of Charlie's remember yesterday. Brilliant! Thank you. That was Elvis Presley, anyway. In its own way, of course, but nowhere near your standard. Oh, no, the nice thing about your act is that there's never any smut. A good, clean act. Thank Not you. Not antiseptic, mate. No, no. 
Thank you very much. Now, if you don't mind, we're trying to record a number. Number of what? Our tune! Our carry-on joke, not me! <laughs> Look, um, I don't like to ask you this. It's not for me, of course, but uh, can I have your autograph? <laughs> I suppose so. Who's this? It's for my cat, Vienna. Vienna? Yeah, she's a great fan of yours, yeah. A real hip cat. Uh, this, um, this... This... This is a checkbook. Yeah, just sign the bottom. I'll fill in the rest later. <laughs> now, look. I don't want any more trouble here. Yeah? I haven't come for trouble. Uh, in fact, I've had to sell my house to come down here. And when the council find out, there's going to be hell on. <laughs> so, just, I want to... I'm going to sing a song. This song... <laughs> this song is uh, from the greatest motion picture I've had the pleasure to see, and which, in my humble opinion, is the greatest motion picture ever, ever to have been made. Davy Crockett and the River Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you haven't seen it, you'll know the two songs. I've picked I've Got Rhythm <laughs> and Love is a Many Splendid Thing. I've called it I've Got a Splendid Thing. <laughs> I've Got a Thing. It, it, have, have you seen this yet? I said to the wife, this, well, it's not the real wife, it's this girl I'm knocking, knocking about with. Because <laughs> I got rid of the first wife, because she was filthy. The only time she washed her ears is when she ate a watermelon. <laughs> I remember the night I asked her to marry me. I said those four magic words. I said, you're not, are you? <laughs> But the one I've got now, we, 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 haven't, we haven't been speaking since Christmas. Christmas, she said, Alan, will you get me something nice for Christmas? I said, anything you like. She said, something with diamonds. <laughs> I bought her a pack of cards. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning, we were across, I said, hey! If that get tough, now I've got a black belt and Ludo. <laughs> I said, put a couple of buttons on that shirt. Have you, have you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> And I tried to improve myself recently on the guitar and uh, among other things. And, um, and I bought a guitar book the other day. It wasn't a, wasn't a Burt Whedon book. It was a proper guitar book. And I, and, and, and I turned to page 15, you know. <laughs> And there's a little little drawing there. It's, a, it's a, like a, a history of guitars. It was. It was a fascinating book. And turn to page 15, and there's a little a little drawing, a little diagram of a fella called Quasimodo. And apparently, according to the story, he, uh, you know, he's, he's a, a fascinating, fascinating player. Not only did he have a hump, it was, you know, he, he could play the guitar beautifully. And he used to sit up in the, in the belfry in Notre Dame Cathedral, and in between tupping bells. He'd, he'd take his guitar out and have a little blonk, and, and all the people from Notre Dame would sit round watching him in the square below. And if they didn't clap, he'd pour boiling lead all over them like that. <laughs> and he used to play blues just like this, Dick was he? Come here, young lad. Right first, when I know. <laughs> She is with a look in her eyes. 
Laughter will be back at the same time of 7 o'clock next week. Stay with us for that incredible Hulk after the break. Come and talk, talk to the middle and come and talk to the listening bank. Talk about a bit of help buying for your family. Lovely dogs and kitties close standing orders for TV. How to go on holiday with all those bills you have to pay and your granny's come to stay. People have problems over the years. Middle and bank has very good ears. And it hears come and talk, talk to the middle and come and talk to the listening bank. Last Feelings is a story that will break your heart. The story of an unloved boy who learns to love for the very first time. Trying to forget a dream of happiness that turns to tragedy. He had so much to live for, but so little time to live it in. Last feelings. Take someone with you to wipe away a tear. From tomorrow for a limited engagement at a cinema near you. Unfortunately, Edward cannot be with us today, but he's worried about these vitamins and iron in our Rice Krispies. We all saw the Rice Krispies in the math teacher's mm. shopping bag. These vitamins are encouraging grown-ups to eat our snack cracker and pop. Where have you been, Edward? Oh, just writing. I must not hide the maths teacher's Rice Krispies 100 times. <laughs> it's so brave, so fearless. Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Have you heard about the vitamins? Where's that twin brother of yours? He's bad to have his burgers all go cold. He won't want to be his favourites. I'll go and find him. Andy, you better have beef burgers around the table. I'm cool, I'm cool. Sorry, Mary. I was just upstairs. Just eat up. Chicken monkey. Bird's eye. Somehow other beef burgers just don't taste the same. If you were a first class letter and you had to be in Inverness. I'm sorry, sir, your flight's just left. Or a first class letter that had to be in Plymouth by tomorrow. Sorry, sir, it's just gone. Or you were a first class letter that had to catch a ferry, you check the timetable. The Royal Mail now has timetables at post offices in most towns. They'll help.